Hello, welcome back to Filthy Millennials. Today, or should I say tonight, because it's very late where I am, I will be discussing The Honey Witch by Sydney J. Shields. Let's get right into it. This is a debut novel, a fantasy romance, not too long, about 342 pages, that includes a sapphic romance. This book, although Honey Sweet includes several heavy themes. It centers around death and dying, losing a loved one. It also deals with infertility, loss of a pregnancy. There are violent scenes, including kidnapping and torture. But I will let you know that it ends happily. So if you're able to stomach all that, you might want to jump right in. So let's meet our characters. This book, which has a beautiful cover, I have it here, and you can also see it on the screen, hopefully, if everything's working correctly. But it centers around Mary Gold. And let me read you this. The honey witch is cursed to never find true love. But when she meets a young woman, Lottie, who doesn't believe in magic, she dares to hope for more. Marigold Claude has always preferred the company of meadow spirits to the suitors who've tried to woo her. So when her grandmother whisked her away to the tiny isle of Innisfree with an offer to train her as the next honey witch, she accepts immediately. But her newfound magic and independence come with a price. No one can fall in love with the honey witch. Then Lottie Burke, a notoriously grumpy skeptic, shows up on her doorstep and Marigold can't resist the challenge to prove to her that magic is real, even at the risk of losing her home and her heart. So that sort of introduces Marigold and also Lottie. The other sort of main characters in here are Marigold's best friend from when she was very small, August, her siblings, and Honey and a lot of bees. Of course, also societal expectations. This is set in a sort of AU Regency world where there's no homophobia. There are many relationships showcased in this book, lesbian, bisexual, gay, uh, asexual to some extent, whether that's by choice or circumstance. And so I feel like the representation is quite apparent. I will say for a novel that is a romance that ends happily, there is a lot of violence. There's a lot of death and dying. It also deals with issues of infertility. And I just want you to be braced for that. But the descriptions are lovely. The pace is sort of calm and soothing, even as all this is going on. I will say that I'm sort of neutral on this book. I would give it a C on an alphabetical scale, and I gave it three out of five stars here. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. I read it. That's what I would say to you. So sort of neutral. I do believe that if you are looking for a sweet sapphic romance with a dash of fantasy, some honey, some bees, some peril, that this might be for you. I just didn't connect with it in a deep way, but it's a lovely book. I'm glad I checked it out. And I hope that one of you might find it enjoyable. Thank you so much for coming back to Filthy Millennials. This has been a review of The Honey Witch. I hope to see you back soon. I think I'll read something a little bit different next time. Uh, if I'm remembering correctly, it's called Birds Aren't Real. And it's about the conspiracy that all pigeons are robots or drones that are spying on us. It's a little bit of an older book, but I'm looking forward to it. And hopefully I can share it with you. Thank you again so much for coming back to Filthy Millennials. Good night.